Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW HADR tutorial part 23. In this tutorial, I want to provide a tip on how to configure your Java applications, client applications with automatic client reroute feature. The scripts that I'm using, the data files that I'm using are available for free at db2luwacademy.blogspot.com. Please subscribe to my YouTube, YouTube channel, youtube.com slash db2luwacademy. This is the problem scenario and the configuration. So the problem scenario is we want to configure a Java client applications like uh, for ACR in HDR setup. So ACR is a feature called automatic client reroute. So if you are there is a primary like in a, you you have a HDR data database set up up and running. So what happens is there will be a primary server and there will be a standby. So your Java application is connected to the current uh, primary. And when a takeover happens, then the Java application without any downtime, it has to seamlessly transfer the connections or the connection request to, to the new uh, primary, which is like after the takeover command. So this feature is uh, available. This is called ACR automatic client reroute feature and it is a client based solution. Uh, no server settings or no server setting changes are involved. So you don't need to do anything on the server side. This is purely a client uh, based. So when I say client based, it is more you, you use the JDBC driver, right? So which is the IBM data server driver for JDBC and SQLJ. And in this particular example, I'm using uh, the version 4.32.28 and the DB2 version I'm using is 11.5.8 developer edition. So obviously, um, even in certain older versions, it is supported. So I'm not very like you have to go through the history like 11.1, 10.5, 10.1. I think most of them have supported. I think even in 9.7, there is support for this kind of a feature. Um, but the behavior might be somewhat a little bit different. So um, just make sure about the version. Okay, take care of the version and make sure that like I, I can say you like it works in this version. And the configuration steps are very simple, actually. So you develop your Java application with certain properties in the driver, like the JDBC driver, you need to set the properties, which is like enabling the client affinities list, enabling the seamless failover. Um, so if you don't enable the seamless failover, <coughs> sorry, the failover will not happen. Like whenever the takeover happens, the you have to bring down the Java application and again run the application, it will work correctly. So that is the only thing like if you if you don't want to bring down your Java application and rerun the Java uh, like start up the application again, then you have to enable the seamless failover. And um, the next property that you need to set is the client reroute alternate server name and client reroute alternate port number. So that will be your standby server uh, host name or IP address and the corresponding port number in which the uh, instance is running. So with, um, with this much, we'll uh, this is the like most of the usually we, at the theory part that that is done. So I'm going to go for the uh, I'm going to go for the example part for the example part. I have uh, here two systems. One is Fedora. Another one is uh, open source. So here you can see this guy is in a primary system. So I'll show you like uh, in the HDR output. I'll show you. Um, so this is this is a sample database. It's active and it is primary and the machine name is open source. So you can see that here as well. You can see that here as well. So it is a uh, open source. This will be my primary. I have connected to the sample 11.5.8 and currently the table has no records and uh, Fedora is activated and this should be my uh, standby system. So we'll just check that. So if I go here, yeah, this is a standby system. So this won't have any applications connected. So that is the idea. And I'll show you the Java code as well. So, um, so this is the Java code that I have written. It's not, it's not like very professional code or something. This is just to test the feature. So I have select name from the table name with UR. Okay. And I'm getting this connection pool. I have set all the usernames, passwords. So the Fedora is your, um, I have given like what uh, the Fedora as primary, but it, it is not but it, it doesn't matter. Okay. So because it will use the alternate reroute, right? So here there is Fedora and open source. So this is the set client uh, alternate server and port number enable seamless failover and enable client affinities. And <clears throat> this Java program, uh, the application name will be JDBC hyphen ACR. Okay. So that is the idea. And I'm getting a connection 
and I'm inserting records into this. So every every connection that I get will insert records, one record into this one. So it will the first connection will insert 1001. The second connection will insert 1002. And the third connection will insert 1003. And it goes on like up to some 1006 or something. Yep, up to 1006. So there are six connection objects. And uh, each of the connection will uh, insert a record. So there will be total six records after this uh, whole exercise is complete. And when, when I just before close the program and I'm running this get input and I just make the program wait. Okay. And similarly, after my third connection, <coughs> so you can see here, uh, after my third connection or third record is inserted, I get an input. So at that time, I'll do the takeover. So I'll not bring down the Java application, but the takeover will happen. Okay. So this is the sample code and I'm also using connection pooling. So I'm, I'm setting like the driver type four and auto commit flag is true. Okay. And you, it's F underscore flag, which is true. And uh, some connection pooling, the initial pool size is 20 and max pool size is 20. Sorry, initial pool size is 10 and max pool size is 20. So it will cage the connections like that. So um, because I'm getting it from a connection pool object. So I don't think so. Uh, the connection pool has anything to do with this. Even if you don't have a connection pool implemented, uh, it, it should still work, I guess. Okay. So, but in this example, I'm using the connection pool. Okay. So let me just close that application. So now I'll, uh, so I am in that uh, HDR uh, thing. So let me, um, let me run the, uh, Okay, let me just uh, show you the connectivity. So this is this one and it's connected to sample, I guess. Okay. Oh, this is Fedora. This is the, okay. So this one, yeah. So there are no records currently. And if I say DB to list applications, nothing will be there here. So because um, no one is connected except for the local application, right? So which is the current one here. Okay. So what I'll do is, um, I will set the class path. Okay. So I'll set the class path to the jar file so that it understands all the jar files and other things. So let me set the class path. So once I set the class path, I can uh, uh, compile the Java program. So I think it's, I, I have already compiled. So in any case, I'll just recompile. Okay. So that's the compilation part. Okay. Okay, done. So now I'm going to run the program. Okay, so it will have six connections. So let's let us see that. Okay. So I'm running the Java program now. So it should insert uh, one record. So it inserted. Okay, so if I go here, it should reach the primary, right? So you can see, see the JDBC ACR application is coming. And uh, you can see the select star. So it inserted one record. And um, so when I say C to continue, so it will insert the second record. So it is showing two records inserted, right? So I can come back here and uh, run the same query. Okay. So you can see it's two, two uh, records inserted and there will be two JDBC ACR applications because it is coming from two connections. Okay. And uh, what I'll do again, uh, I'll go to this one and say continue. So this will be like third record. So now I'm saying take over HDR DB. So now three connections are there, three records are inserted and they are also committed. Okay, so if I come here, see now there are three JDBC ACR applications and uh, three records got inserted and I'll connect reset. So even if I uh, connect reset my local application, the uh, list applications will have still the JDBC ACR connectivity, right? So I go to my standby system, okay? And what I'm going to do is do a takeover. Oh my God. Okay. So this is the takeover command and you can see that the application is still running. It's like halfway through. So one, two, three. So there are four, five, six connections are there. So it will insert connection four, connection five and connection six. So it should be seamless, right? So uh, I do the takeover. So when I do the takeover, obviously the applications that are in the, uh, the current uh, primary, it will go away. Right. So not, nothing is there and everything should come over here. So now if I say here HDR, so you should see that uh, this guy became um, primary, right? And uh, this guy became standby like that. Right? 
so this guy became standby so no more connections will be there to the standby uh, uh, so that that's the idea of the reroute so the, on the server side the change has happened and when i say db2 list applications here no applications are connected but when i go here and say continue right so it's co it's continuing but on the server side the the database changeover has happened and the fourth connection it will automatically go to the new primary which is fedora so it should insert connection 4 and here when i say list applications you should see that so it has the connection 4 and i can still continue so i'll say continue now the connection 5 and i can still say continue so the connection 6 okay so now i have um, here now I, I have like three applications because connection 4, connection 5 and connection 6 now the three JDBC ACR applications are there and I can connect to the sample database and because the takeover happened right so um, the, the already the three records which got inserted should be there and now three more records have been inserted so it should have like uh, six records right there you go six records are there so this is how the client reroute functionality works and even if i now again also i can do a takeover and if i do the takeover again further uh, new connections if the java application is issuing a new connection it will come back uh, uh, on this uh, this if i do the takeover here then the co the connections will come back here so obviously i'm doing the takeover in the peer state so you should you should keep keep in mind of that so because it's a manual takeover here and this is this is possible with TSA also even with uh, TSA if it is this scenario is happening I think uh, without any errors or anything it will it will work okay this scenario is applicable in both the environments okay in a non automated environment with TSA or with TSA it, it works so if I say see now it, uh, now only the Java program is exiting okay so if the Java program is exiting so you should see that all my uh, connections are gone so if I say list of applications everything is gone so if I do the connect reset, which is the local application, that will also be gone. Okay, so so this is the idea of implementing the uh, client uh, reroute functionality. So which is from the Java file, I have, I have shown you how to set. You can set it in the properties file like that. So whatever the details are. So set driver type, set automate as true or false, which you can handle it as per your transactional integrity set some application name so that you can identify the application client affinity list seamless failover read out alternate server name and it should contain both the uh, primary and the standby primary and the standby comma separated values so alternate server name and alternate port number that's it <coughs> so that is the basic idea uh, hope this uh, information is useful to you subscribe to my channel db2 luw academy uh, in youtube.com and see you in the next video tutorial. Until then, bye-bye.